Welcome back to Palmister channel. In a previous video, we introduced how to connect and use photovoltaic controller with a PU off-grid inverter. In this setup, the solar controller receives energy from the PV array to charge the battery. While the PU off-grid inverter converts the battery's DC power into AC to run household appliances. After understanding the basic operation of this system, many viewers have asked how should we choose between the PV controller and inverter system versus an all-in-one solar inverter system. In this video, we will take a closer look and compare two options to help you decide which one better suits your needs. The PV controller and PU off-grid inverter system, which we call split system, consists of solar array, solar controller, battery, and the PU off-grid inverter. In contrast, the all-in-one solar inverter system integrates the controller and inverter into a single unit and works together with the PV array, battery, and an AC input source, such as grid power or generator. With a split system, you get a high degree of flexibility. The controller and inverter can be freely matched to meet different voltage levels, battery types, and power requirements. This is especially useful if you already own either a controller or an inverter. You can simply add the other component to complete the system. The all-in-one system, on the other hand, is more compact and easier to install. Since the controller and inverter are integrated, the wiring is simplified and the overall system layout is much cleaner and more space-saving. When it comes to maintenance and future upgrades, the split system allows for independent optimization. For instance, you can upgrade to more efficient MPPD controller or switch to higher power inverter if you expand your battery storage. If one part of the system fails, you only need to replace that specific component, which helps reduce long-term maintenance costs. For a system rated above 5 kW, integrated systems often offer a better overall value. Thanks to mass production and internal integration, the total cost of an all-in-one inverter is usually lower than buying a controller and inverter separately. In fact, many 5 to 12 kW all-in-one inverter models come with building MPPT controllers rated at 80 to 200 amperes. To achieve the same performance using a split system would require selecting and purchasing high power components individually, which often ends up to be more expensive and complex. Integrated systems also tend to be more intelligent. They typically support automatic switching between solar, battery, and AC input source to ensure stable power delivery. Features like Wi-Fi connectivity for remote monitoring and centralized LCD displays for system management are commonly included, which are often absent or harder to implement in split systems. If you want to connect a grid power or generator in a split system, you will usually need to buy an additional ATS device and set it up yourself. Smart scheduling features like time-based charging and discharging are also much easier to implement in an integrated system than in a split one. In conclusion, both split and integrated systems have their unique advantages. We hope this comparison helps you choose the one that better suits for your needs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.